In this video, we shall look at how to install driverless AI on an Ubuntu 16.04 system with no GPU. The instructions for installation of driverless AI can be found on the home page of h2o.ai. So if you type in h2o.ai, it takes you to the home page and you click on the download button on the top right and this will take you to the product products page where you click on the driverless AI download button and this then lets you access the driverless AI documentation. In the documentation you will see links here to different part sections of the document and we will click on installing driverless AI and you can see all the platforms that are supported for driverless AI. We are interested in installing for an Ubuntu with CPUs, so we will click on that and we will follow the instructions over here. The first thing you notice uh, is uh, we assume that you have downloaded driverless AI and that, that is accessible, so let us check if that is available. You notice that I have downloaded the file here. Um, it will have a different version number and different numbers here depending on which version you've downloaded. Uh, whichever is the current version at the time you've downloaded. So if you go back here, the next thing is to install Docker. Driverless AI requires Docker to run, so let's proceed with installing Docker. I'm going to cut and paste the commands from the web page directly into the terminal, so that makes it really easy, and you can do the same. And what we are doing in the in the first few parts is ensuring that we are setting up the download repository for downloading docker dot, uh, docker community edition this command requires super user access and this is updated and And we have updated our repository and now we can download the product. This is a Docker community edition that we are downloading. And at the conclusion of this, we would have Docker installed and you can verify that Docker is installed by running the hello world command that comes with the image that comes with docker and if this runs fine it means your docker has been installed correctly the next step is to now load the image the file that we've downloaded as a docker image into docker and to do this i will type docker load and redirect the contents of the file that we have downloaded again the actual number or the name of this file will be different which based on the current on the version of driverless that is current when you're installing now this is going to take some time it will take a few minutes so for the purposes of the video uh, we will come back to it once it has completed but when you're doing it this can take several minutes so maybe this is a good time for some coffee So now that this has completed installation, we are ready to start running. <clears throat> One other step before that is to create these directories to store the data, log, license, and temp files for driverless. And we can create this in, in, in one command, in one line. So there's a data file, uh, the data directory, the log, the license, and the temp. So now that we've created that, a good idea at this time is to copy over some sample data sets into, this, uh, into the data folder so that it's easily accessible when you start up driverless. So I will copy over the data sets that I've downloaded earlier as CSV files into the data folder. 
and then when I look at this, these are the two files. So it just makes it easier to access it once driverless starts. It's not absolutely required, it's just useful. So at this time, we can proceed to the next step, which is to start running the process, uh, run the Docker image. So I can cut and paste this command. So what I do here is I, let me paste a part of this and I'll explain what this is. So you pass in the user ID and group information and you're passing in a port number that you want to expose in the, from the container. And that is one, two, three, four, five, which is the port number on which uh, driverless AI runs. You also want to expose port number five, four, three, two, one, which, uh, which you can use to access a copy of H2 a course that is provided with driverless AI. And if you wish to run Jupyter Notebooks, then you probably want to expose 8088 also. Again, if you want to access any other ports in your container for management purposes, for anything else, feel free to. And in this example, I will not. So I will copy the rest of the command line over and this is the rest of it where we map the folders that we created into the container. And when I hit return, this starts up driverless and you can now access driverless AI at the IP address of the server where you're running and port 12345. In this video, you have seen how to install driverless AI on Ubuntu 16.04 with no GPU. For more information, you can always go to our website and there are more videos and tutorials available at docs.h2o.ai. Thank you for watching this video.